Hello guys, I'm very excited to share with you this new embedding model by NVIDIA. This model is called as NV Embed. It is a generalist embedding model that ranks number one on the Massive Text Embedding Benchmark or MTAP Benchmark. MTAP Benchmark is used for measuring the performance of text embedding models on diverse embedding tasks. It spans eight embedding tasks covering a total of 58 datasets and 112 languages. It is the most comprehensive benchmark of text embeddings. So performing number one at this benchmark is a real feat. Also, this model NV Embed has ranked with 56 tasks, which encompass retrieval, re-ranking, classification, clustering, and semantic textual similarity tasks. This model has also achieved the highest score of 59.36 on 15 retrieval tasks with the benchmark. In this video, we will be installing it locally and then we will also test it out. NV Embed presents several new designs, including having the LLM attend to latent vectors for better pulled embedding output and demonstrating a two-stage instruction tuning method to enhance the accuracy of both retrieval and non-retrieval tasks. Also, NVIDIA has published the full benchmarking report and other technical details on the Hugging Face page of the model card which you can see on your screen and I will drop the link to it in video's description. It takes uh, max input tokens around 32,000. It has embedding dimensions of 4096. Its pooling type is latent attention and it is a base decoder only LLM which deals with Mistral 7 million versions 01. So let me take you to my local system where we will install it. The GPU and the VM for this video has been sponsored very generously by our good friends at Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus I'm also going to put a coupon code which will give you further 50% discount on an already very affordable price on GPUs. So do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 courtesy masked compute and also this is my NVIDIA GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Also make sure that you have Conda installed. I have this version of Conda installed which will keep everything nice separate and simple from my local installation. So let's first create the Conda environment so that we could install this model in isolation so i'm creating this code environment with nv embed let's press y here let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long let's step into this environment by activating it and let's clear the screen now now install few of the prerequisites like transformers torch and flash attention so let me run it i'm just going to install the latest one so that is why I have first uninstalled and then I am installing it. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Okay. Everything is installed. Let's clear the screen. And now let's launch our Python interpreter and I'm going to import all the libraries which we have just installed. Libraries have been imported as you can see. So let's define our sample data. So if you are aware of embedding a model, what basically we use embedding model to find the similar text within a passage or within an existing text. So for example, if you have some sentence which you want to search in your documents, you can use an embedding model to run a similarity search. Embedding is simply a numerical representation of text and mainly it is used for retrieval augmented generation and I will describe it more further. So let's first just define our string which we want to search like given a question retrieve passages that answer the question this is simply if you see we are defining a variable here let's also specify our prompt template for this query and this varies from model to model for this one we are just using instruct one and then let's specify our queries which we want to ask and now let's give our passage where we want to search it and i'm just going to paste that passage here and this is the package where we want to search our questions 
let's get our model and you see that i'm just simply downloading this nv embed version 1 and model has started downloading there are four tensors of it and i believe they are um, almost each of them are around 5 gigs so make sure that you have that much disk space let's wait for them to get downloaded last tensor is being downloaded almost there and then it has loaded it onto our gpu all the shards and that is done okay now let's specify our uh, max length of the context which is 4k which we are using and then let's get the embeddings or the numerical representation of the text which we have specified first i'm just going to get this query embeddings so primarily what is happening is model is encoding the query text which we had specified above this one into the numerical representation or embedding that is done you can ignore this warning and then let's also convert the passage embeddings to the numerical representation let's wait for it to finish this takes a bit of a time and that is done and now let's normalize both of these embeddings when we say normalize normalize means uh, scaling the embedding vector to have a fixed length or magnitude so it's it prevents feature dominance or it actually improves the generalization Curie embedding is normalized let's also normalize the passage one that is also done now next up we need to get the embeddings with the data loader so what we are doing here is we are going to uh, split the data set into multiple mini batches uh, and then from there we will run it uh, through the model so you see we have just obtained the scores of those embeddings and then if you print those scores this is what it, it is telling you how much they are um, similar and how much they are different so if you compare above queries like we had these two queries and with this package so our Udo throws allowed in wrestling if you look at this this is a passage prefix and this is a whole passage so if it is uh, able to find it this score will be higher closer to um, you know like it is 77 but if it is it won't be able to find the similar it will be lower so that is how this embedding works and this um, fluctuates as per your text so this is how embedding model works just a quick word on this embedding models you of course this is used in your rack pipelines so if you are building your own custom rack pipeline that is where it really shines through because then you can simply select your own embedding model and then make sure that it aligns with your text so hopefully this was useful i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching